Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Scorpio and their personality. And yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, people, the first thing I'll look at with Scorpios, they could be very incisive. This is a sign that really can get right to the point, to the heart of the matter. They often don't like people that, that are hesitant or are going to take their time or that are apprehensive about things. They just like to get to it and, and get to the heart of a matter or task at hand. And this sign could be very forceful and can really, they, they could really like just bowl others over sometimes, but they might not even be cognizant of their own power and their own strength. Scorpio can also be very mysterious and complex. Very few people get to really know a Scorpio person because they could be very introverted, very secretive, very reserved. They only often choose a select few people to really know and understand them. And even those people may have difficulty understanding Scorpio completely. Now, this sign is also uh, they're very secretive. They could be very suspicious, which really plays that role in hard in get for Scorpio being very hard to know and, and understand because they, they are reluctant to let people into their lives. My grandmother, God rest her soul, she had Scorpio rising and there was a woman that I was engaged to and it, even during that time I was engaged to this woman, my grandmother really barely opened up to, to that woman I was engaged to and was just reluctant to become friendly with her for some reason. And I, I hate to think of it as being malicious, but it just, it, to this day, it does kind of bother me. But it's just something about Scorpios that they just have a very difficult time often letting new people into their life scheme. They could be very cynical and very uh, skeptical. Scorpios also could be very intuitive. I think their intuition is often connected with deciphering motives and intentions of others. If there's a person that gives them a bad vibe, they often are cognizant of it right away. They generally are the best, I would say, in telling if somebody's prevaricating or telling the truth. They can distinguish fact and fallacy very readily. And this sign is also, it can be very quick-witted. And a lot of, they often can respond verbally quickly with quick, off-the-cuff, spontaneous remarks uh, to others, especially if somebody is being belligerent or abrasive and somebody's making a derogatory remark to them, they often have a quick and cutting uh, answer. And often they will use this as far as a form of retaliation as opposed to physical confrontation. However, keep in mind if you push a Scorpio beyond their points of endurance and when they're, they're done talking, this sign at some point can unleash that anger and it really cannot, it, it's not something that would be a pretty sight and that would probably be a vast understatement. This is a sign, if pushed, can be really uh, vengeful and vindictive, more so than the other signs. This uh, Scorpio could be a master at exacting vengeance on someone if that person has scorned him or her. So really, this is, this is a sign that could either be like your best friend or in the whole world, or it could be a very formidable adversary or enemy if you cross this person. Scorpio, you don't want to make Scorpio an enemy because it's not even just about the fact that they are the, the ultimate sign in terms of getting even. They just know what buttons to push people almost instinctively. They can often detect not just someone's positive attributes very quickly, but they could find their weak points very quickly and try to use them against you and say if Scorpio has detected you have some kind of anger problem or temper and may just be able to tell just through a conversation with you, they may do something to, to bring that out of you at the most inopportune time as an example. Now, 
This sign too also can have very strong unbreakable willpower and have an indomitable will and spirit. This, uh, my grandmother, bring her back into the equation, Scorpio rising. Um, whatever illness she would encounter, even during her elderly years, she would combat it through thick and thin. She still found a way to get things done, walking to the store, even though she was debilitated and she didn't quite have the mobility she once had when she was younger, of course. But she still often found a way and she just had such a strong will about her. There is a thing about Scorpios too. They are very resilient and they have tremendous bounce back ability. It's kind of like, I guess like an analogy or metaphor I could use is when you would like throw a rubber ball against the wall and it bounces back. Well, they have this propensity to bounce back very often from adversity. Scorpio is the sign that you want on your side, especially say in an emergency or crisis situation, because Scorpios can be very unflappable in, in these situations and their demeanor is such, they are just cut out for these kind of situations. They could also be fond of things connected with mysteries and investigation. Now, many of you may have seen the show NCIS, and uh, Mark Harmon is one of the, the people that are part of the investigation crew, but he is, in real life, he has Scorpio rising, and it seems like, as I've stated in other videos, that a lot of times you'll find these actors and actresses, they often seem to connect with roles that fit their astrological personalities. A lot of times it could be uh, subconscious, and I think when you look, another example, actor Clint Eastwood, who has Scorpio rising as well, a lot of times he plays a real hard-nosed, tough-minded person, somebody that's very uh, willful and is not going to give up, very determined, and which really, it, that connects, I think, a lot with his Scorpio uh, ascendant. So... And I think, as I stated before, I think a lot of these people, these actors and actresses do choose roles that fit their astrological personalities. They may not be cognizant or aware of it, but I think that's the case in a lot of instances. Now, if Scorpio is scorned, and, and even sometimes when they're not, they could be mischievous. I had a couple Scorpio rising friends that did the same thing to me one time many years ago when I was a kid and they played hide the football on me and they one of them kept it on for for days and then another one I had a conf I confronted both of them at, at some point and I eventually got the footballs back but it just it, a lot of times Scorpios can be like the, the game players and, and do things just to push your buttons just to it's almost just for a matter of being sneaky this is something that, that can be done, especially if they are scorned. They could do things that will uh, be very surreptitious. It could be done in a very kind of, uh, I guess you could say, in a devious way, in a, in a cunning way, where it might take you some time to figure out it was them that were actually behind these deeds. And Scorpio, as I stated before, can be a very formidable adversary. They can be an implacable foe. This is a sign you really don't want uh, on as your enemy of all the zodiac signs. I think what's interesting, and many of you may have heard, it seems like the, the waters are everything but confirmed as far as what's below Pluto's surface. And I think the Scorpio personality corresponds with this as well because even though Scorpio can appear very placid and impassive, very calm superficially, they could have these these waters of these strong emotions which really are like emotions below their surface. They could have these raging turbulent waters that are going on beneath their surface. And the thing about Scorpio is it's like they they can stay calm and composed for a certain amount of time, but when that anger comes out, it's like forget it. You don't want to be around when that anger is unleashed. 
because, I mean, you have that combination being ruled by Mars and Pluto. I think this could be, a, maybe this accounts for these very powerful uh, anger and sometimes destructive angry episodes. So, and another thing about Scorpio too is, of course, their uh, very strong sex uh, urge. I think Scorpio is unequivocally the most sexual of all the zodiac signs, and they could be very erotic. Another thing, too, is that with Scorpio is that if there is a breakup of some kind, they're the ones of all the signs I think would have the hardest time letting go. I know a lot of people seem, you know, they think, well, Cancer and Taurus are two signs that have difficulty letting go, but because Scorpio has this obsessive and fixated type nature, I think they're the ones of, of, of the 12 zodiac signs that have the hardest time in dealing with somebody uh, detaching themselves from them, say breaking up with, with them, say in a romantic, significant other-like situation. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Scorpio and their personality. And stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Sagittarius and their personality. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.